Here's a quick tour of what we're going to accomplish in the next couple of days. This is an old stall out on one side of the barn. It's the actual back stall. Uh, used to be used for ponies years ago, and as you can see, it's nothing fancy. It's just basically boards with big gaps in them. We do have power now. We've got 220 right there, and we've got 110 lights going in in the overhead here shortly. But this is just plain, a plain old stall, and for, for a long time we've had it um, filled with straw and had dogs out here in the warm weather. It's separated from the rest of the way station by a uh, little fence right here so that this can be gated off. So if you have a knucklehead, um, they can have their own little area at the way station and not interact with everybody else. So today, um, I've been cleaning out and removing all the old hay, sorry, not hay, straw, um, some torn up insulation and pulling off some of the destruction that the coon hound started. That is all old straw, and I still have probably another bag or so left. This is a nice little turnout area. This turnout area is about 10 by 10, and there's actually wire covering all of this, as you can see, so that we don't have coonies hopping. This is a uh, six-foot bit of um, chain link, and then over here we have more six-foot chain link with a tarp to sort of cut down on uh, the wind and sort of stuff like that. And on the bottom down here, that's, there's ground wire. There's wire covering uh, all the boards so that they can't dig through that. And then ground wire coming about three feet out so they can't dig. So it's a little bit of a mess right now. We've got all this old debris and stuff. For a couple of years, we just insulated with uh, this old foam sort of stuff and some uh, a foam, foam board that's up there now. We had those on the ceiling, and we had some heat from heat lamps. So obviously, you had to be kind of shaggy to be out here during the winter. They kind of like the straw, though. They really they enjoy nesting in it. And we have another stall over on, on this side that leads into the way station. They can go through that doggy door into a stall and then into with another doggy door into the actual uh, ward area that's heated. But most of the time, they seem to prefer sleeping in the stall. So um, that's where we are right now. Charlie is coming over tomorrow and is going to put up walls and insulation and a floor that we're going to put linoleum on. And then I think right back, maybe in that far corner, we may put in a door into the actual maternity ward section. And this, once it's finished out, heated of course, now that we have electricity, could be a nice isolation area so that the new guys coming in could come here for a day or so so I can make sure they're not coughing. Um, I think it will be just nice to have that flexibility. Anyway, that's the before shot. Stand by for after shots starting tomorrow.